हेलो फ्रेंड्स आफ्टर अंडरस्टैंडिंग अबाउट द टीटी बाइंग रेट वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज बिल बाइंग रेट व्हाट इज बिल बाइंग रेट एंड हाउ द बिल बाइंग रेट इज बीइंग कैलकुलेटेड व्हाट आर द वेरियस अदर एस्पेक्ट्स व्हिच आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट हैज टू बी कंसीडर्ड व्हाइल वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग द रेट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू फॉरेन एक्सचेंज बिल दैट वी विल टेक अप इन दिस लेक्चर now another discussion that i take place that will be your bill buying bill buying you can say and as you are aware i said earlier also i said earlier also that when the bank is buying a bill bill means it can be a foreign bill it can be a letter of credit that means the cash handling the bank is not doing bank is not doing the cash handling that means customer is approaching in not selling the cash foreign currency but the customer is approaching in selling some document to the bank suppose the exporter is there an exporter is retaining a bill which will be paid by the importer at some future date but before the future date comes the exporter is in need of money what he can do he can approach the bill and can sell that bill if the bank find that the bill is genuine then the bank can purchase that bill but as you are aware that as bill is not the cash so the period for which the bank has to retain the bill to get it matured bank has to bear the risk number 1 risk of default in payment on due date number 2 risk may be with respect to fluctuation in the exchange rate in future date at compared to the current date on which the customer approached the bank for selling so all these aspects the bank has to keep in mind and keeping or considering all these aspect bank has to quote the rate to the customer the bank has to quote the rate of buying the bill which is going to mature at future date considering the risk associated with that bill one thing you should keep in mind there are two type of bills there are two type of bills also bills which receive the payment immediately when they are paid they are called as bill at sight s i g h t bill at sight but there are another type of bill which will be having some maturity period that will be known as the usance bill usance bill that means there will be having some usance period so always remember whether it is usance bill or whether it is site bill both the bill will require minimum 25 days for payment that means 25 days minimum has been taken as the transit period what i mean to say that if the bill has been placed in front of the importer if the bill has been placed in front of the importer then the importer will try to screen out the bill will find out that whether the bill is genuine or not will cross check the sale and purchase that he has done with the exporter will try to know that whether the payment is due or not and then he will release the payment these number of days 
which is a time gap or which is the gap being considered for making the payment is known as transit period so whether it is a side bill then also the payment will be made within a period of 25 days but if it is a usance bill which carries a specific period suppose the usance bill says the maturity will take place after 2 months then 2 months means 60 days then on that 60 days 25 days more has to be considered that means 2 month 25 days will be required to make the payment of any bill which carries a usance period i give you the example also uh if the side bill from here you can note down bill buying we are taking the another case that is bill buying and on this i said this is one thing the side bill then its maturity will be after 25 days 25 days has been taken as transit period which means that the bank should not quote the rate the, the bank should not quote the spot rate but it has it would quote the 25 days forward purchase rate that means bank will not quote quote the spot rate spot rate is always for cash transaction bank will find out that what will be the rate after 25 days then the forward rate of 25 days will be quoted by the bank but if the bill is usance bill which has a delay of 60 days itself that means where the creditor that is the exporter has already given a credit period of 20 uh, a credit period of 60 days to make the payment that means the where the exporter has given a credit period of 60 days to the importer to make the payment that means after 60 days the payment will be made in such bill 60 days plus 25 days as transit has to be considered then total number of days given by the exporter to the importer will be 85 that means bank will quote the forward rate for 25 days bank will quote the 85 days forward rate of buying that bill this you have to keep in mind that while we are going for buying then we have to see that whether it is a side bill or it is a usance bill usance will always have usance and side bill will always have 25 days as a transit period in usance bill transit period along with that usance period will also be considered for that hmm and here the situation is the customer approaches the bank for selling a foreign currency sorry customer approaches the bank for selling a foreign bill that means bank has to buy the foreign bill that means bank has to quote the buying rate of that foreign bill that means bank has to quote not the spot rate bank has to quote the forward rate of the date at which the foreign bill is going to mature at that rate the bill will be rated by the bank so we are discussing regarding <clears throat> the bill buying till this point we have discussed that basically the bill is going to have some transit period or it will have the usance period so whether if we are having a side bill 25 days will be required and if we are having a usance bill then along with the usance period the transit period will also be considered 
for knowing the forward rate for that bank. Now, as you are aware, as you are aware that here, as it is a case of a bill, that means there will be consideration of premium and discount. All else you can say, there will be consideration of forward margin, which I have explained you earlier itself, that forward margin is basically the interest differential between the two banks. Interest differential between the two bank is the forward margin. And I also said that interest differential could last in terms of premium to the customer or it can last in terms of discount to the customer. If the customer bank, if the customer's bank is going to have some profit from the foreign bank, then profit will be transferred to the customer and customer forward rate will be at discount. That will be lesser than the spot rate. But if the customer, if the customer bank is going to face the loss is going to face the loss from the foreign bank for the maturity period of the bill then that loss will be passed to the customer that loss will be passed to the customer and the forward rate quoted to the customer will be at premium that will be higher than the spot rate so in this way premium and discount has to be considered a very good example which I have given. If you try to read and understand, then I suppose many problems you are going to overcome. Or that will not be a good thing that to show. Uh, yeah, okay. I will try to show you if you are able to get it. See what is written the forward margin may be at premium discount just now we have said premium has to be added to the spot rate and discount has to be deducted from the spot rate to arrive at the forward rate this we are already aware this i have discussed in your last lecture now one example i have taken for the explanation very seriously you should read this example Suppose on 23rd June, a very good date. Suppose on 23rd June, interbank quotation for USD was as under. That means on 23rd June, this was the rate available in the local interbank market. Spot rate, spot rate means of June 23rd. Spot rate is given. Then for the next month, June is given and when again June is given so the, we can say that this is the rate this is the rate for June 23rd but this is the rate for 30th June June ending this is the rate for the whole month of July always remember one thing more that forward margin is not only for a day forward margin always lie for the full month 30 days that means starting from 1st july to 31st july like this was the spot rate this was the spot rate on 23rd june but when we say this 2000 oblique 2100 then it will be the rate for the month of june that means ending june then we can say july rate is there and august rate is there keep in mind i said forward margin is always for a month the bank want to calculate buying rate for the side bill 
in which the transit period is 25 days has to be considered no problem this means the due date will be that means the first example which i am taking up that on 23rd june the bank receive a side bill that means a bill which will be paid as it is <coughs> placed but as it is a bill so 25 days has to be considered so from 23rd june we have to calculate 25 days 20 so 25th day will be 18th july that means we have the bank has to give the rate for 18th july but as you are aware 18th july rate is not available <coughs> the rate is available for the spot or for the whole month of july for the whole month of august for the whole month of september but this is the 18th july the forward rate for july is valid for the entire month however it should be noted that usd it at premium as a forward premium represent the now how to know that whether usd is premium or discount by seeing this rate always remember we have to see it is 2000 to 2100 500 to 5200 6500 to double six double zero that means it is going from lower to higher when it is lower to higher it is premium and if it is reverse of that higher to lower it will be at discount so this is the way of knowing that whether the future rates are at premium or discount that if the in, if the forward margin not the spot spot rate has not to be considered for knowing the premium or discount only the further months the future month will be taken for knowing the premium or discount so if it is in the ascending order it will be at premium descending order <coughs> it will be at discount and here we see that all the rates are given in the ascending order that means dollar it as premium and i already said that when it is premium premium has to be added premium has to be added to the spot rate premium has to be added to the spot rate so you can see here now the forward premium the spot rate include for the month of july for the whole month july the bill is expected to mature at 18 july and the exchange margin is for the month of july which means the exchange margin represent the interest differential till 31st and if the bank consider the exchange margin for the full month of july then the rate quoted to the customer will be this that means 69.500 premium hai it should be added 0.500 will be added it will become as 70 rupees therefore the bank will consider the exchange margin for the month of june because considering the june exchange margin of the bank will quote rupees 69.70 which is lower you must have not got this point now as i have read now listen to me when we add 18 days when we uh, sorry even we add 25 days from 23rd june the due date is coming for as 18 july that means we, the bank has to give the rate for 18 july but the rates available forward margin is for the month of whole month that means we are not having the rate for 18 july but we are having the rate for full month of july 
so if the bank is going to consider 5000 if bank has to consider 5000 then the rate quoted to the customer will be 70 rupees but 18 july is the due date and the rate bank is taking as of 31st july so what the bank will do the bank has to follow the rule buy low sell high but if the bank take the rate of june then the rate will be 69.7 which is less than 70 that means the bank will go for the lower rate buy low sell high that means on 18th july the rate on 18th july either the bank is supposed to take the rate of 1st july or the bank is supposed to take the rate of 31st july 1st july rate is same as it is there on 30th june so bank will take the bank can go on lower or higher side and as it is a purchase deal dollars are at premium mind it as it is a purchase deal dollar is at premium buy low sell high concept will be taken so bank if the bank goes for 31st july the rate will come as rupees 70 but if the bank take the rate of 8 1st july then the rate will come as 69.7 the rate is low the bank will quote 69.7 only this rule that you have to keep in mind if that when foreign currency is at premium for calculating the bill the bank will round off the use and period and transit period to the lower month that means always remember in the case of buying in the case of premium if the case is of buying and cases of premium then use and period and transit period will be rounded off to lower month as after considering the transit period the date was coming to as 18 july but as it is as it is uh, a premium case so this transit period has to be rounded off to lower month and july lower month is june july lower month is june so the rate will be this to be taken up that means 69.5000 plus 2000 it will come to as 69.7000 this rule that you have to keep in mind and secondly the reverse case i have taken here you can say 1300 to 1200 4000 to 3900 and 45 to 44 that means this is the case of discount previous because it is there in the descending order this is the case of discount and what i said buy low sell high buy low sell high and here the reverse will be taken here the reverse will be taken that when the foreign currency is at discount then the use in period and transit period will be rounded off to higher month higher month this is the rate for given of 20th april 25 days will be 15th may since the dollar is at discount if the bank take the may now dollar mein kya hota hai we already said spot rate minus dollar sorry spot rate minus discount to get the forward rate as the rates are at discount that means this has to be deducted 
from the this has to be deducted from the spot rate it is coming as 15th may that means 4000 has to be deducted from 58.75 but when we deduct it will come as 58.3500 right but you can say that here i have why i have not taken first may here i have taken the rate of 30th may because first may rate will be the rate of april the rate of april and april rate is 1300 the closing of april will become the opening for the may so opening rate of may is 1300 which will be lesser than 4000 so by law if 1300 is deducted from the spot rate it will be a less amount and if 4000 is deducted it will be more less so bank is going to gain more while deducting the 31st may rate so in this case where the foreign currency that discount the bill rounding off the usage period and transit period for the higher month there we have taken the lower month and here you have to take the higher month always remember when the case is of discount when the case is of discount then usage period and transit period will be rounded off to higher month and higher month is nothing the last rate of that month may 15th was there the higher rate will be for may end and here in this case that when we have to take the case of premium then the usage period and transit period will be rounded off to lower month and lower month is the first day rate and first day rate is the last month closing rate only whatever i have just explained you must have noted down as it was being displayed also try to go through if you again find some problem then tomorrow before starting my lecture i will take up this problem then only we can start then we will start for further discussing this is very important to understand the application of premium and discount that premium has to be added and discount has to be rejected this is universally accepted that whenever the case will be of premium it will be added in the spot rate and discount it will be rejected in the spot rate but we have to see that whether the dollars are at premium or discount if it has premium then usage and transit period will be rounded off to lower month because bank says buy low sell high and if it is discount then also buy low sell high it has to be rounded off to higher month if we are taking the case of july then lower month is 1st july rate and higher higher rate is 31st july rate 1st july rate will be of 30th june only the closing of the closing rate of one month will become the opening rate for the other month so at the end i hope you must have understood the theoretical aspect of bill buying rate the in depth discussion that we have done and all the aspects which are required for calculating the bill buying rate has been discussed in this lecture in the next lecture we will take up the examples or we can say as the numerical part of bill buying rate thank you